Yo, what you here to do? All right, thank you. Yo, what you here to do? Uh, damn. <laughs> That last time. So you did it last time. Oh, I will. When you start, so basically just getting to know you as an artist. Okay. So don't worry, I won't ask about a deep dark secrets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> if they are any. Nah, nah, nah. If nah. they are any. Open book. I'm an open book. having our special guest in studio quite excited about that so don't touch that dial you're tuned into dstv channel 802 and you are on a channel africa.co.za if you are streaming professor and speedy came through with land dog and then kelly kumalo also came through on that one with emma Wemi. Tim's with me and you. Then we had Rayma with Calm Down and LoJ. Ah, thank you. I thought about <laughs> doing radio before, but uh, we'll see. <laughs> it, I think I think you should. <laughs> like the quiet I storm. really think you should. It did. Yeah, you you could hmm, you could possibly put Kavi Kavi K out of a job with uh, that with that <laughs> never, with never, that radio never. voice. Be too good at your job. <laughs> <laughs> so how are you man i'm great i'm great oh well, thank you so much for joining us so we'll just let the people know exactly who is here guys we've got a big scooter yeah, in studio boy. right in the building <laughs> live right here on the party so we're gonna get straight into your interview because we want to know exactly who you are where you're from from <laughs> Yeah. You know? Yeah. Okay, so you ready? I'm ready. Bring it on. Bring it on. All right. So, guys, we've got Big Spuda in studio, and we are about to have a beautiful conversation with him. He's an artist, so we'll also be hearing um, some of his music uh, that he's brought for us today. So, get in touch with us. Get on all our social media platforms. We're live on Facebook, we're Channel Africa, Twitter, we're Channel Africa One, and on Instagram, we are Channel Africa Radio. Don't miss this interview, it's going to be fun. We've got beautiful music that is still to come up as well. So Big Spooder, yeah. who is Big Spooder? Ah oh, man, Spooder is a father. Uh, I'm a disabled veteran from the military, you know, the army. Um, and uh from united states obviously i guess okay so you <laughs> are from the united states of america yeah yeah okay and you said you are um uh military yeah yeah ex ex yeah i'm re retired from the military oh wow yeah. okay yeah. jeez yeah. we got we got big dogs in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. where does the name big spooder come from ah big spooder man it's, it's a short for uh, Cebu Ciso that I got that name when I was in Durban uh, two years ago. Okay. And um, yes, yeah, so some some uh, girls, they, they watched me for the whole, what, three weeks I was there. Mm -hmm. And they said they have to uh, name me after they find out like uh, what kind of person I am. Mm -hmm. And then they came and they said, uh, you're going to be Cebu Ciso. And did they tell you what the meaning of that blessed. is? Blessed. Yes. Yeah, yeah. You're blessed. a blessing to them. Yeah, yeah. That so, is such a beautiful name. Yeah, I love that name. 
I actually got um, a Zulu name as well because most of my friends are Zulu. Mm -hmm. So I got a name as well. I was called Owetu. Owetu. And that one means ours. Like you belong to us. Mm -hmm. Owetu. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I can relate. I can relate. Yeah. So um, apart from uh, Big Spooda and Spussy, so what, um, what is the name that you go by? The real name. Ah. Uh. The real name that I don't use that much anymore. <laughs> <laughs> because it's falling away. <laughs> hey man, I'm getting rid of that 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 name, man. They keep that American name, but it's Ronnie Dunn. Okay. Yeah, Ronnie Dunn, man. That's my American name that uh I'm putting like in the closet right now. Okay, because <laughs> we out here talking to Big Smooda, right? Right. I live here now. <laughs> this my home now. I'm back in Africa. Okay, so um, how long have you been back in South Africa? Uh, I've been here, I li I've been living here for six months now. Okay, and how are you liking it? I, I love it, I love it here. You know, the main thing that I talk about is Ubuntu. Yeah. Man, that is, that's rich here. You know what I mean? Being part of the majority mm -hmm. and not being the minority where I'm from, like seeing black people everywhere is amazing. That's very true because you guys do have that that bit of a problem on the uh, other side, right? Huge. Huge. Yeah, huge. So, <laughs> that's like the flip side of what we had uh, many years ago where uh, being a, a dark-skinned person was a problem. Yeah, yeah, apartheid. Okay, so um, what, what made you decide to have you permanently moved to South Africa? No, I'm working on my uh, permanent residency okay. now. You know what I'm saying? But I got I'm here for four years. You know what I mean? I just got here, so y'all gonna see me for a long while. <laughs> <laughs> so, what is is there a particular reason why you have decided to move here or move uh, away from? I got I got tired of the same old, same old in the United States. You know what I mean? Uh, you 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 do the same things over and over and over again, expecting different results. And for 400 years since we've been taken away from this place, nobody else in my family has come here. You know what I'm saying? So I had to break that, you know, close that gap, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And, and, and try to give my kids something that none of us have had, you know what I mean? The diaspora, you know, so it was about legacy. It's always about legacy, you know, leaving my mark, you know, with my kids and stuff, something they can have and hold on to. Like America is not your only option. That's that's very true. God made a place that was specifically for you and your color <laughs> skin. You know what I'm saying? And that's yeah. important. That's important. Okay, so let's get into your career. So you are um, an artist. Yeah. When did you start your um, your career as an artist? Well, um, I started back when I was in the military when I was like 23 years old, and um some shady stuff went on with our music and and end up losing the rights to my music and just a lot of stuff that discouraged me so i took a hiatus and i didn't mess with music again mm -hmm. and then when i got here like something just clicked you know music wasn't even part of my journey here it was just youtube and uh writing my book you know what i'm saying and music just landed in my lap it was like god was like here you go i got something for you Let's go back to the basics. That's right. <laughs> okay. That's right. So while we're talking about music, um, you've got a couple of tracks that you have for us. And um, that's the reason we're here. Yeah. So we can yeah. hear what you've been working on. Yeah. So um, I'm going to play the first song. And then when we come back from that, you'll then let us know what was the inspiration behind it and what is that song all about? Ooh, yeah. Can we do that? Ooh, yeah. Okay, yes, yes, let's yeah. go. Yes, it was going on, on and on. Feel the rhythm. Shout out to Carby. Listen to the hey. This is what I'm talking about. This is funny music. music. <laughs>
That's what's up. We got the seal of approval. Miss Carmen K like it. Hey, it's over. I mean, she's the one picking the music that plays on radio, so. Right. She validates it. Right. No, absolutely beautiful music, guys. Appreciate it. Up. Sounds like you can sing. Probably. She probably sings. Well. She's in the studio singing. Yeah. <laughs> ah, I'm gonna need a feature. That would be dope. Nothing about change. Sorry, guys. I'm never gonna sing. Really? Um, <laughs> and I've got a very bad voice, so I'll never be able to have a singing career. Because I'll sing today and my voice is going to work. But on the day that it is good. So on a good day, we could record something. But don't expect me to sing it tomorrow. My voice will be over. have a vibe here all the time <laughs> i literally have a vibe by myself i would in too i mean I'm you're choosing the music <laughs> and <laughs> surround sound okay stand by so that one is called talk to me do you want to tell us a little bit about that? Um, what is Talk To Me and what was the inspiration behind that song? Ah, uh, man. Talk To Me was about somebody special that I had in the States. And um, just like just like men do, we mess up. <laughs> <laughs> we mess up. And I'm trying to convince her, like, hey, this ain't like the last time. Mm -hmm. like, Yo, I, I'm 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 different now. You know what I mean? And and after you get through the arguing and stuff, now it's time to do grown up stuff. Okay, okay, you know all right. <laughs> and um, I hear there's another voice in there. Um, who is that featured in that uh, song? That is Soweto Lover Boy. That's my counterpart, man. We we got a few tracks together. Soweto Lover Boy, yeah. Soweto. Yeah. Okay, that is a very beautiful song, yeah, if you. I have to say so myself. Thank I've been dancing, and you know, I I love to dance. So yeah. I always tell my people, so on, on um, so there's the DSTV, right, mm -hmm. on channel 802, and then mm -hmm. there's a streaming. Now, if they're streaming, they actually have an option of the webcam, so they can see us. Right there. Stop playing. In studio. <laughs> Damn. So every she time I do... on us right now. <laughs> so every time I tell people I am dancing in studio, I'm on my feet, then yeah. they can actually see it, that I am on my feet. 
and quite exciting beautiful music coming through so um what what kind of genre of music do you uh do you produce so we're trying to uh come with our little sub sub genre mm -hmm. called piano deep okay yeah so it's a mixture of piano mm -hmm. deep house afro r&b jazz and electric you know what i'm saying it's just a deep bag you just can't pinpoint my style wow yeah you got me jaw dropping yeah. <laughs> you know i've heard um so i i've heard of a piano gospel yeah um i've heard of i think it was i don't remember piano something but everyone is riding on the piano wave yeah. and now when you say piano deep that's a completely different genre on its yeah. own Right? I'm coming. I'm coming as a different kind of artist, no, an American me. artist doing. I'm a piano. I'm a. I'm a big dude, and I dance. You know what I'm saying? So I. It's, you dance? It's, ah, yeah. I be. I be. <laughs> I be doing y'all dances, man. <laughs> as much as I can. Okay. Well, it sounds like you got something going there. Maybe you can teach me a move or two because, yeah. yeah well, I'll stay behind the mic yeah. and I'll let you yeah. do the dancing. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So if you've just joined us, so we are here on the party mix with Kabi K every single Saturday night between the hours of 9 p.m. and midnight. And in studio, we've got a special guest and he goes by the name of Big Spooda, all the way from America, United States of America. But he is here in South Africa and he's here to stay. And um, yeah, so we're chopping and getting to know a little bit about him. And he just told me that his genre of music is called my piano deep. Very exciting stuff right there. So, um, what else? What what else um, do you produce besides the Mapiano Deep? Um, right now, the other thing that I got going is a reality show. Okay. We, we're trying to get us a reality show out there. It's called uh, the Real Lives of South African Americans, and it's me and another group of uh, Americans that moved here and mm -hmm. live here. And we're trying to show, uh, you know, what, what Americans do on a daily basis and incorporate South Africans and locals, you know what I'm saying, just to bridge that gap between the two peoples, you know, so. Oh, wow. Filming that, you know, trying to push that, you know. So we've got we've got a whole celebrity in studio, guys. <laughs> so we've got we've got a whole big deal in the studio right now. Yeah, I'm trying, man, I'm trying. <laughs> Okay, so we still hear all about your music. Um, we're going to play the next track. Um, do you want to tell us about it before or after we've played it? I'll, I'll let them hear it first. Okay, okay, we'll let them hear it first, and then you'll let us know what it's all about. All right, yeah. let's go straight into it. Oh, 
Yep, the party mix with Cubby K. We are still here. We are 34 minutes after the hour, 10 p.m. And that means we are in the middle of the second hour of our show. And we are still here with Big Smooda. Yeah, yeah, How's it going? Are you enjoying yourself? Ah, definitely, definitely. You're a good host. Good host. <laughs> thank you. You're an amazing guest. Ah, thank you. Thanks. So, uh, make me feel. Make me feel. Ah, 